I'm getting a bearded dragon. Oh, it's so cool. I've been wanting it for like four months. Actually, technically more than that because I've wanted a bearded dragon before, like years and years ago. But obviously I was too young to do it all on my own and I knew my parents wouldn't really be up for it. But now that I am an adult and almost 21, I can take care of it myself and pay for it myself. So I'm getting one now. Uh, so I did tons of research. The last four months have been a lot of looking stuff up and watching tons of videos of people who own them and take care of them and just really comparing a lot of sources so that I can do the best I can and then like last week I started looking at breeders because I knew the time was getting really close I'd finally gathered everything that I needed for the tank and I can show you it is up on my desk right there I'll show you like a better setup tomorrow whenever we get the bearded dragon. So I did contact a breeder and she had some adults. I wanted an adult because babies are a lot of work. Sure they're cute but I did not want to deal with the extra bugs because they eat more insects and I didn't want to deal with the stress of just not knowing if you're giving them what they need to grow properly because it's it's complicated. Complicated? Complicated. One day I'm sure I'll take care of a baby, but for my first time and while I'm in college and everything is like busy, I wanted a, an adult. Well established, already eats well, and healthy. And so this is a 14 month old female, which I, that, that was new. I was dead set on a male for the longest time because I thought females were, I'd been told that females were like not harder to take care of, but because of the whole fact that they can lay infertile eggs and then those eggs could get stuck inside them, that it would become really expensive with like vet bills and everything to, to help them out. But when I did more research on it, so first of all, some females don't ever lay eggs, but then those that do, something going wrong is pretty rare and it's not difficult to give them a laying box or something and let them just take care of themselves. Yeah, I'm doing female now. <laughs> I was I was dead set on a male for so long and then like just recently I was like, you know what? I don't care the gender. I'll take a female too. Just whichever one ends up being the right one, if it's male or female, I'll take it. I'm really happy with the female though cuz it's going to be my first female pet ever. Nippy was a boy, Milo's a boy, Ripple I'm pretty sure is a boy. <laughs> Based on what he looks like, he looks like a male. But if he grows more, I may learn he's female, which is fine, but technically, like, to me, this is my first female pet, which I think that's awesome. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I still don't know what I'm gonna name her yet. I've got a few ideas in mind, but I'm waiting until I meet her. And when I, like, handle her, see really what her personality is like. The most important thing to me with a bearded dragon was not the gender or the color and the look, it was the personality. I want one that is calm enough to not be scurrying about all, all the time, but that often will just sit on my shoulder while I study, because that's going to be the easiest way for me to spend time with it, just while I'm studying. Um, but like, would sit on my shoulder, and is friendly and not timid. We have just had the worst luck with our pets. Nippy was not friendly towards anyone, he was a bird by the way. Um, he was not friendly to anyone but my mom in the end. As a young bird, he went to anyone, but as he got older, he suddenly kind of claimed our mom as like his mate, which <laughs> seems kind of weird, but he was extra mean to the rest of us from then on and only liked mommy. But anyway, Milo also, while he is the sweetest in the world to us, hates strangers and is completely aggressive and we can't have him around anytime we have people over. The only people he tolerates are the grandparents because they come over often enough that he's kind of gotten used to them, but anyone else, he's either outside or he's up in his crate. So I've been wanting a pet. <laughs> all I've wanted was a pet that I could like take with me places and like introduce to all my friends and then have with me all the time. That's what I've always wanted out of a pet. And so it was really important to me with a bearded dragon that it was a personality that I could do that with. So according to the breeder, this female is extremely sweet and 
you know, and like when I asked her if if the spirit of dragon would sit on my shoulder while I study or be friendly with people, she said yes. So again, trusting that she wasn't just trying to make a sale. If it's true, then I might. This might be like the greatest thing ever, and I'm really, really excited for it. She comes tomorrow. She's getting shipped here um, from Georgia. She comes supposedly at 10.30. I'll be up long before then, I'm sure, but hopefully it's not too much later than that because I gotta get to school eventually, and I want time to settle her in and make sure she's okay before I take off. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there she is, sort of. She's in the box. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, see her, really. Mm. When do I skin happen? It's not dead. No, it's not dead. Oh, good. That one wasn't. The guy was like, where's the air holes? And the, then the one of them right here was taped over. But there's one open on that side. Okay, good. So we can breathe. All right. <laughs> she put the scientific name on there. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I'll just cut straight through this. Don't cut her. <laughs> She's probably in something inside. Yeah. They're not just put straight in the box. They're usually in either like a small Tupperware or a bag. You're almost Do there. people eat so frogs at all? Like cook frogs? Actually, yes. Some people frog eat frog legs. legs. Frog legs are like a yeah. delicacy in some countries. A delicacy? What's that mean? It means like very fancy food. <laughs> Kind of like how salmon could be for us. You're almost through! Oh, close. Eh. Okay, there we go. There, he's inside there! Did you say he? I said she! Oh, okay. It sounded a little like he was yeah. missing a little bit here. There we go. These animals don't make any noise, so you can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Trying to hide, maybe. It looks very well insulated. That is good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And that's the box. Or the heat. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Hello, you. Oh, you're nice and warm. That's good. Hmm. And she's alive. She's so much bigger than I thought. She's looking at you. I know. I know. She's like, what's going on now? I don't know where I am. I don't think you even made a mess. You probably will very soon, though. So we will keep you. Don't in poop a good on place. me, please. All right, we're gonna use and scissors. She's she doesn't look scared. No, she's doing really good. Oh my goodness. Fine, maybe I will just cut the bag. Because I don't want to make your weight anymore. Oh, this is going to be tough too, though. Ooh. I'm trying to figure out where... Oh, there we go. Probably need some sunlight. She'll get it. She's fine. Yeah. Aha, aha, here we go. Yeah, it should just be a wrapping. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Almost there. So close. There. Oh, it was tied on. It's good to know. Hello. <laughs> you wanna come out? Would you like to come out? We have some food. <gasps> Let me try some of that. <laughs> Take your hand. Let me try. Got food. No, maybe. I don't get him out. Can I try it? No, probably confused. Not right now. That's okay. We'll put her in there with them and she'll eat them eventually. Alright, come on. Alright, there we go. Ah, this is cool. Let's see if she'll crawl out on her own if I put the whole thing in there. Oh my goodness. My arm doesn't reach. There you go. Okay. No. <laughs> you 
opening. Looking out. Okay. <laughs> Tea's not moving. Okay. She's in her tank. She's not going anywhere now. Ooh. There you go. Took a okay, step. Um, She's thinking about it. Not so sure yet. I know. What was that? The box is just moving. Did you know that bearded dragons have a third eye on the top of their head? It's right there. Is that it? little dot. It's Go not on. really an eye, like we don't see out of it. It's a light sensor. So it's kind of how they know what kind of light they're under. Yeah. But it's like a third eye. It's just a light sensing light. Really hard to see. It's that oh, little that. gray dot right yeah, there. Yeah, I see it. What if you touch it? I think he's really calm. Or do you just not want to move right now? <laughs> do you still not want to come out? Can you touch the eye? <laughs> um, I assume so, because people pet their dragons on the head all the time. It's not a problem. You still don't want to come out? <laughs> she just likes sitting there. Yep. She has really cool coloration. Yeah. Yeah. Get your little leggy. Hope don't want any of your nails caught in there. You're a little stiff. You cold? You might be a little cold. Maybe I'll just set you right under the heat in a second. Here. You just feel really warm in there? Oops, sorry. That got in your eye. Ooh. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're so rough. We're getting there. I'm almost there. It's kind of cold out here for her, though. She feels slightly cold to the touch, so we'll get her under the heat soon. Hey, how you doing? Is my hand warm? Does that feel better? <laughs> You're so cool. Yeah. Orange. And tan. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh no! Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? Can I put her on the. No, because I don't want her to be encouraged to move around the room right now. Okay. Oh, she opened her mouth for a second. Did you? <laughs> Stick out her tongue. Don't eat me, I'm not food. Don't eat me either, I'm not food. Here, I'm gonna put you down. Turn you around. Hey. How you doing? You're so cool. You got some stuff in your ears. Might need to clean that out. Hmm. Are the holes in the ears? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So they don't have like a sticky out piece like we do. Nope. Just a hole. You're so calm. Mm -hmm. Like I can tell she's not even breathing hard. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Will you climb on me yet? You want to try that? Here. There you go. Woohoo! There you go. Can it stay on your shirt if you let it go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. So it's got cool. the red clippers. There you go. Good job. She's just sitting there. Good girl. Do you want to use my cookbook? I'll get it when Her I need it. Her tail is sticking up a little bit. That's a good sign of perkiness. Hmm. Can there they dogs? Go. Hmm? They, dogs tails go up when they're exactly. happy and excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you cold? I don't know how warm you're supposed to feel. Because I don't know how much we can feel the heat of their body through their scales. We might not really be able to feel the heat of their body. There's closed scales that much. Okay. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's a not living material. It feels like it's a. I don't know. 
some something else. <laughs> That's because she's not really animal. warm, and we're used it's to animals like, being warm. It's not a sandpaper, animal. perhaps. Yeah, it doesn't feel like an animal, like a living animal, even though it is. Mm. Hello, you have mommy? How are you doing? Also, just know only pet the direction the scales lay, which is down. Because kind of like petting a dog or a cat backwards, it wouldn't feel good if you were the other way. Mm -hmm. To it? It wouldn't mm -hmm. feel good to it? Right, it would hurt them. You want to feel good? Because actually each individual scale is connected to their skin underneath, so they feel everything. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, get a little wider. You tell Adam my watch. There we go. There we go. There, there. there we there. go. Lick. <laughs> lick, lick. There you go. That's better. Okay, go to the heat. I need to know that you can climb up there. I'm pretty confident you can. You're bigger than I thought she'd be, so that's good. You need to go up there? She's like, still I seem want calm? to come out. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll leave you be. Or, I will. <laughs> you guys will just have to tell me what she does. Do you think you can? Huh? Do you think you can? Alright. What? What? Oh, okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> there you go. Good job. Nicely done. Need a bit of and then my leg. Oh, he's gonna lift you up. oasis update the last time I filmed something where I talked to the camera it was the day before I got her so now I've had her for well, really about half a year it feels a lot less than that for some reason but about half a year and I think she has actually grown she's in the middle of shedding right now her back is like all faded in this area because she's gonna shed there and she just finished shedding her tail and the tip of her nose she did too so she's a growing girl yeah, but she's so comfortable with everybody now and she's comfortable going places with me. We even spent like four days in Bernie and took her and she had to have a little kind of makeshift tank in a bin with her heat lamps and stuff and no problems at all. Totally good. Yeah, it's been really great having her. She's like literally the ideal pet, the one I have always wanted. It just took me four animals, well three because ripple I was not getting a fish with the hope of it being a f <laughs> you're sleeping let me help you let me help you come here I know you help let's go okay. 
uh, yeah, getting Ripple, getting a fish. I was not expecting that to be a pet that I could take everywhere I go and have with me and introduce to my friends and so on. But with my bird and my dog, that was my hope, because I've just always wanted a pet that was small enough to take with me places and friendly enough that I could introduce it to anybody I met. So that is exactly what Oasis is, and I could not be happier. She is the greatest. The greatest. <laughs> she totally is not afraid of any people. She loves to go outside. She loves car rides. It's like, I have not found a single thing that she doesn't like. Like, she's the most chill animal I have ever met. It's amazing. <laughs> and she's so curious and sweet. So yeah, she is definitely growing. Like, Everybody who, like, when my grandparents or somebody comes and visits and, you know, they haven't seen her in a few weeks, they always say, oh, she's bigger, and I'm like, I think you just don't remember how large she is, but maybe she really is growing and I just can't tell. Her tail seems longer ever since she finished shedding it, uh, just like last week. Her back is starting and everything, so she's, she's starting to look more adultish and less babyish, I guess, which makes sense that she should be. Where are you going? <laughs> No. But she is like so brave and just loves wandering around my room. Oh, that's what I let her do because I've pretty much bearded a dragon proof to my room so that she can't like hurt herself or get anywhere. There's a few places I have to keep an eye on her if she goes, but once she finds a place to settle, she stays there like for as long as I want her to. She'll just sleep until I get her out. Probably where she's heading now. She likes to go over there and sleep on the lowest bookshelf over there. So that's probably where she's headed. Is that where you're going? It's also nice because when she moves, she doesn't really run or scurry in a way that, you know, makes me worried that she's gonna get away. She moves in little bursts at a time <laughs> and then stops and looks around. And there she goes in the bookshelf. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, she loves it in there. It's dark and cool and cozy. Okay, I'll let you nap in there for a while. Have a good nap. Bye bye. <laughs>